All right, another lesson here for you. So this lesson, I really want you guys to think about some of the questions that I ask. I know that you can't interact with me necessarily because this is a video, but I do want you to think about some of the things that I'm going to ask you, and we'll talk a little bit more about them in class. So yes, it's that time again. Think about your thoughts. Think right now. What are some instances where science has benefited you personally? Okay, so it's kind of hard. Sometimes it's hard to think about that because you don't really think about science on a daily basis. Maybe you do, but I want you to think about some of the places, some of the instances, some of the experiences where science has benefited you personally. Okay, I think about um, when I go to the doctors, which is not very often, but I think of ov obviously all of the um, technology that we use to figure out what's wrong with us. Okay, so think about some, you know, maybe personal instances. Keep those in mind because we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But I want you guys to think about science ethics, okay? Ethics, when, my, when I think about ethics, I think about, you know, the right thing to do, okay? Which isn't always, you know, that's not everything that ethics is about. But I want you guys to think about what does ethics mean to you? If someone were to just tell you that word, what do you think that means? Does that mean anything to you? Ethics, okay? Does that help you in decision making? Does that help you... Um, take a one path or the next okay so i want you guys to think about what ethics means to you what are some ethics you might live by okay so when someone says well okay what does ethics mean to you so how does that dictate how you live okay what are some ethics you might live by and when i say that maybe that means um you know what, what would be some mottos you might live by okay some, sometimes people think about ethics as like well, um, I love, you know, this particular thing, and so I live by that. Or maybe you have a particular faith or religion, so that might be some ethics you live by, okay? So, you know, what, what dictates how you make decisions and who you are as a person might be a little bit about the ethics, okay? Now, that can kind of, I don't want to twist that with morals necessarily, but that can be along the same lines, okay? So how about in the world of science? Now take that from those personal experiences that you're thinking about with ethics to the world of science, okay? Science can kind of, you know, it's interesting. Science can kind of um, propose a lot of questions and a lot of things that people may or may not agree in based on some of their morals, some of their beliefs. So I want you guys to think about ethics in science. It doesn't have only to do with, you know, when you think of some of the things that are very controversial when we talk about science, such as creationism versus um, evolution, and you know the use of stem cells and things like that. That's not the only thing I'm talking about with ethics. I am talking about, in general, we talk about ethics and um, how to remain, I'm not gonna say neutral, but make sure that everything is based on facts, okay? So there's a lot of things that go into science ethics. I want you guys to make sure you guys are reading through your lesson. Get a good understanding of what that means for you personally, but also in the world of science, because that's a big deal. I really want you guys to know that um, for me, I want you guys to form your own opinions. I'm not here to tell you everything how it is in science. I'm here to present with you with the facts, but take into account your own personal beliefs, ethics, um, and morals when it goes to studying science and, and getting more deep into it, okay? So here's some ethics to remember, you know, very general, based, this is all based on science, okay? So always consider the safety and health of the public and fully inform people of any conditions that they may experience as, or as a result of experiments. That's something to remember um, in the world of science ethically. Okay, We always have to keep in mind the safety and health of the public. Inform them fully any conditions that may, they may experience based on an experiment. Okay. Never do anything to cause pain to people or animals. That's something that science wants to really live by, okay? Science in general. Minimize the harm to the environment, okay? That's a big deal. Conduct work in an honest manner. Never falsify work or lie about what, you know, was done, okay? That's a big deal that we can't lie about the experiments. We can't falsify what, you know, the outcomes are because of our own gain or because of our beliefs. We have to make sure everything is as is and what was actually done in the experiment is basically um, informed to the public, okay? Results, um, report results in an honest and truthful way, so we don't want to skew any results, okay? A lot of people can sometimes do that just because um, of their own, you know, whatever it might be, a personal gain, money, 
um, their beliefs, but we have to report what actually happened, okay? Practice wise use of resources, so we don't want to do experiments that just waste, okay? Let me, la let me waste a bunch of water because this experiment, when, you know, people are really hurting for water and so forth. And then offer services only in the field of competence. So I'm not going to explain to you guys something that I am not competent in, okay? I would tell you guys, hey, I don't really know a lot about, um, you know, the world of social studies. To be honest, I, I'm not really an expert in social studies, so I don't want to teach you guys social studies. So same with, you know, science in general. Um, scientists cannot be giving out results of different experiments in a field that maybe they are not um, fully competent in, okay? They don't know enough about that. So let's move on to bias. So bias is the unfair preference for or dislike of something. It's a point of view that is personal um, or it's a belief that's not supported by evidence. So a lot of us have our own biases. We have our own opinions on something, but we can't really bring those biases into science when we're talking about um, you know, theories and things that have been proved. So bias, we, we try to take all biases out, okay? Um, and then when we're doing experiments, we base it everything on what we get from that experiment. So the opinions, and I'm not going to say those are bad because I am a very opinionated person, but at the same time when we're talking about something that has to do with science based on evidence and fact, then we have to take some of those biases out, okay? Even though I still have my own opinions, when I present that information to people, I really can't present my biases. I can't present present my opinions um, because those are something that you know maybe are me personally based on my belief system and whatever. And I don't want to put those on anybody else. So basically, you guys have to remember when we um, are talking about science and experiments and stuff like that, data. Those are the things that we deal with. Um, not that I care. Um, I love that you guys would express your opinions and and what you believe on certain um, aspects of science, but that doesn't mean that we can bring that into our experiments necessarily, okay? We can talk about that and discuss that, but we have to make sure we keep things, um, our facts straight, okay? Scientific claims. This is talked about in your lesson. I want you guys to think about, can you make wise decisions? Think in an example in your head where you have maybe made a wise decision or maybe you've had the ability to or maybe you have not. I mean, maybe sometimes you might feel like, nah, I, I'm really not good at making wise decisions in certain um, situations, maybe under pressure or so forth, okay? So think about, can you might make wise decisions? That involves critical thinking, and each person needs to use that when you're evaluating scientific claims or any claims for that matter. So if it's science-related or if it's something else, you guys have to understand that critical thinking is involved. Critical thinking is taking your thoughts a little bit deeper than just kind of like, what would you do with the first thing, you know, what's your first thought? Um, critical thinking involves really weighing out kind of um, the outcomes. It takes into account actually doing some research on maybe what that means. So critical thinking is something that we have to do in order to evaluate scientific claims, okay? So that's really important. You guys have to get used to critical thinking. Otherwise, we're really kind of doing ourselves a disservice and we're doing the world of science a disservice if we're talking about thinking critically within science. Okay, so make sure that you guys are evaluating everything before you make a decision. And that's in life too. If you're gonna go and make some decision and it's um, a really important decision, you guys have to understand you have to weigh out all the possibilities. You have to really think about all of these different things that are involved with this decision before you just go ahead and make it, okay? All right, ask these questions. Who? Who's involved? What interests? What evidence? And does it make sense? So this could be, again, for just you know science-related, but also for your life. Who's involved with this? Are those reputable people? Are they people that you trust in your life? What interests do they might have in this whole situation? Is, um, is, are there kind of some things that maybe they, they're interested in the situation for a personal gain, or are they truly in it for helping others? What evidence might you have, you know, to back some of that stuff up? And does, does this make sense? Are you willing to make a decision because it all makes sense? Or is it kind of a little foggy? So ask yourself those things before, you know, you actually make decisions in life, but also based on, you know, anything science related. Okay, and then the last thing is impact on science. The impact of science on society. You guys sometimes may not think about that. But think about how science impacts you as a society, maybe even just a family. Take it to your family. 
Is this possible to have an impact on, science, on society with science? Absolutely. There's so many different things happening in our society that are science related that decisions are made based on some of the evidence found, you know, different things that science um, has proven. So I want you guys to think about that. Positive or neg negative impacts, sometimes it's both. Sometimes we don't think about that, but it's like, wow, there are some positive and some negative impacts of science on society. Think about what might be, you know, I want you guys to kind of take that a little bit further. And then think of what science has accomplished and then answer that question again. So sometimes there are some negative, but a lot of times there are positive impacts. Okay, so I want you guys to think about that. Science has accomplished a lot over the years, over the last decade, over the last seven decades, whatever it might be. And then think about, okay, yeah, there are some positive aspects. There are some negative still. Okay, so just kind of evaluate that. All right, so we are done with this week's lesson. Um, I'll be back with another lesson, of course, but enough thinking. Hopefully, hopefully your brains aren't exploding like that, but we'll see. All right.